Hello everyone, today we will be going over curated security profiles. So what are security profiles? Security profiles define which networks, log sources and domains that the user can have access to. By default, when you install Curator, it comes with a default security profile called admin. This admin security profile is, a is assigned or attached to the administrative user that you use to log in to Curator for the very first time. In order for you to be able to configure or create security profiles, you need to go into your Curator graphical user interface and navigate to your admin tab and select the security profiles under user management. So once that opens up our new page, we can see on here that we already have the default security profile for administrators. As a summary, administrators have access to all networks and all log sources and permission precedence, it has no restriction. So permission precedence in security profile management allows you to be able to select the level of network permissions you want to assign to users. This can affect the way events do appear in the log activity interface and the same goes for flow flow or flow data in the network activity interface or tab. So to be able to create a new security profile the thing the first thing you need to do is go into your security profile management and select the new option and at this point we'll give it a name we can call this um, our help desk and once you give it a name you can also give it a, a description of what the security profile is supposed to do and then we'll go straight into the networks. So you want to assign or assign a specific networks to particular users in your environment. So you go into your networks and we want our help desk security profile, for example, to only give access to our help desk to the workstation. So they can see all the logs coming from the workstations. That way they can easily troubleshoot for user field uh, login password attempts and maybe they can also use it to be able to see users whose passwords have expired if they call in and complain that they can't log in using their user accounts and any other thing that can help them perform the help desk duties so we don't want to give the help desk access to our server network logs we don't want to give them access to our firewall logs and all that stuff. We want them to have access only to our workstations. In this tutorial, we're going to pretend that my workstations are in my wireless network. So we're going to assign that. And we'll go to log sources. And at this point, this is where you will assign the log sources that you want them to be able to get this information for. So I will just assign all log sources for um, this tutorial. So I'm just going to give them access to all all their logs, to all my log sources. But know that they're only going to be able to see events that include the networks that I'm assigning to them. We'll come to that in a second. So once I assign them to their log source groups, if you notice here, I haven't really created any meaningful log source groups, but if you create log source groups like, um, let's say, domain controllers, network appliances, typically you will want to give your help desk um, access to like your domain controller events because you want them to be able to see uh, when users log in and log out in your enterprise. You may also want to give them um, access to like your workstation logs if all of your workstations are sending events to Curator. So we'll just pretend that we've given them access to those log sources. And you also want to make sure you go to the permission precedence and make it and assign the networks and log sources. 
this one is going to be based on your environment so you can always click on all of them and see which one you can read the explanation on the right hand side and see which one works best for you but in this scenario we want to assign the networks and log sources so the help desk even though they have access to all these log sources they can only see the logs that include events that are going and coming from IP address IP addresses in this subnet range that's why we want to select the president's networks and log sources so a user must have access to the source or the destination network and the device or the device group so even though our help desk has access to all our log sources they are only going to be able to see logs that concern these two subnets that we've assigned over to them once you get that completed all you need to do is select the save and we can see on here that it's been saved you can go to summary and see a summary of um, our security profile as of now we don't have any users assigned to this security profile because if we did you will it will show underneath here the users that are assigned to the security profile once you have that saved the next thing you have to do like with everything in curator when you make changes on your settings is to deploy changes so you're going to go ahead and click deploy changes and deploy these changes we've just made and that's it about how to be able to configure your security profiles so thank you for watching this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will be making another video in the future on how to assign these security profiles to your users or your user groups.